Hello everyone. So I'm back with the third part of our personal finance app. And in this part, we are going to first add a form in our budgets component. Like in the budget, we will add a form element to add budget entries into our budget section of our app. And then we will be building the backend API using Node.js, mainly Express.js. So let's start off with the video for the day. So first prompt which I asked for chat GPT was, can we add a budget value in the table of budget component of our personal finance app? So we wanted an option to add a budget value. So this is what it came up with. First, we will use two state variables to set the budget category and amount. So let's copy that code and add it into our data. And then we will import the use state variable. So we have imported use state hook and we added two state variables to manage the data. After that, we will add the handle add budget function to update the budget entry and add it into our function. Next, we will add the rest of the entries to add the actual data. So we'll copy the code from here and paste it into our budget component. So it is just below the budget category and it's save. So let's just see if this works. And we will also have to change the budget data first. So in the budget item, we have the budget and spent and stuff. So instead of that, we will use other data which is category and amount. So let's copy this as well. Hit save. Then we'll change the render budget method. In the budgets component. So now we can add a budget entry. Let's just say we want to add electricity. And budget is let's just say 500. So on clicking on add budget, we have an entry in the budget component. So we are done with the budget addition part. Now we want to use backend APIs to update our data instead of using the dummy data that we created in the atom. So let's focus on that. So I asked ChatGPT to create a backend APIs for personal life finance app using ExpressJS and MongoDB and this is what it came up with. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a folder where we will store our backend APIs into our code. So I'm just going to create a new folder called personal finance locally and then open it in the video studio code. So we will first initialize a Node.js project using npm init. So let's open terminal and type npm init. Then hit enter on all the entries. Then we'll install all the packages which are recommended by ChatGPT using npm install. So we are installing ExpressJS, Mongoose, Body Parser, and Course. So get installed. After that, we'll create a new file here called server.js. And in the server.js, we will paste the code which is present in the backend API code. So here we are importing Express, Mongoose, then Body Parser, and Course. Then we are making a connection to Mong MongoDB using Mongoose NPM. Then we are setting up the schema for transactions and budget. And then we are using the body parser and cores to allow access to backend APIs. Then there is an API to get the transactions, to update the transactions and get the budget data and to update the budget data. So let's copy this entire code and paste it into our personal finance back backend APIs. Now, the thing is, we need to create a connection to MongoDB and I am using MongoDB Atlas. So, we will create a connection to the online Atlas connection and we will click on the connect here. 
and it will show us the connection string which we need to use for our connection. So if we can connect connect to the port, copy the string which is present here and add it into the mongoose.connect. Then we need the password. So I will close this. Go to database access and I will create a new password. And I'm just going to copy the password and update the user and add it in the MongoDB connection. Make sure you also allow the network access in the network access tab. And I think that will be it. So let's start the server using node server.js. Now let's test the APIs using Postman. So in the Postman, the first thing that we'll do is we'll first get the transactions data and see if there is any data here. So the port down which the server is running is 5000. As you can see here. And let's just get some data and see if we get any data. So currently there is no transaction. So that is why it is empty. So let's add some entries into transactions data. So we'll use the post API and go to the body part. Then we'll add description amount and date and it's sent so this entry is added now let's just see if we can get the data and using the get tab and as you can see we have the first entry so we will use this api into our code so ask chat gpt how we can do that so this is how it is so we will first install axios we have axios installed then we'll get the transactions data using use effect and set it into the response so let's copy this code and let's just add it into the home component first. But the thing is, this is running on locally and the data that we need to use is on code sandbox. So we need to find some connection by which we can use the local APIs into our code sandbox. And for that, we are going to use ngrock. So you can download ngrock from the website. So you just need to download the zip and unzip it somewhere in the downloads folder. So I'm just going to go into my downloads. Then run dot slash ngro. Then the HTTP and forward my 5000 volt to the ngro server. So we'll copy this URL later. First, we go back to personal finance app and let's just go to the home component. So in the home.js, let's import use effect hook then copy this axios code and add it before the render transactions and in this case we need to like change the url here so let's go to ngrock copy the code from here and add it before api transactions and it's safe So this should work. Let's just see. We can refresh and as you can see, we have the salary with amount and the date. So this works. Then we go to the transactions component and do the same thing. So we first need to import Axios from Axios and use state hook from React. So use state is already imported. We just need to import Axios. Then transactions is using the use state hook using the required state. Then we'll get the data using Axios again. So let's copy this from home.js. And paste it into our code. Hit save. As you can see, we have the salary component. So let's go to transactions data and close this. So I don't know why this error is there, but we are getting the salary component here. Hit refresh. Uh, 
as you can see, we have the salary description and amount here. Then we'll copy the code for adding the transactions data. So in this case, we will do Excel.post to the same URL. So in the handle add transactions, we need to change this. So this is the data. In this case, we'll go with set new transactions is not needed. We'll remove the set transactions from here. Hit save. Then we will change the URL to our ng rock URL. Hit save. And let's just add some other data like electricity with amount 200, which is debited and a date, click on add. And let's just see if this also is there any error. So we'll do it with electricity and try it again. So Axios is not posting it to the data, I think. So let's just see if there's any other in NGRO. So this is the data and we are posting it to API transactions. I think the code sandbox doesn't allow to write the data, but this is the data by, this is the way in which we can add the form values and update the data here as well. Let's just add it from here using post. So we'll go with electricity. Minus 200 and some date. And it's send. Now we will get the data using get. As you can see, we have two entries. So if we hit refresh, we have the entry for electricity as well as salary. So I think there is some issue with code sandbox by which due to which we are not able to send the data from here. But what we can do is we can just to test out that this works, we can copy this ngrock URL and add it instead of the C and let's just see if this works from here. And then we'll add some data like Food, minus 400 and a date it's sent and now if we try to refresh the transactions it should get the code as well so as you can see we have the data here so this is how you can create a one stack app in which we are able to add the data update the data and get the data back from the server and that's it from my end for today thank you and have a nice day goodbye